All right, so I woke up this morning as usual, thankfully, and then I went to Twitter. And I was like, you know what? Let's search photo P like I do every single day. So I found photo P's Twitter and I clicked on it. And I was like, yo, check this out. And it says, have you tried our new magic replace tool? No, I have not. So we're going to be doing that today in this video. So let's get to it. All right, so here I am in photo P with my 240p picture of Spider-Man and his boy Miles. So where is the magic tool that they speak of? It's actually going to be over here with your uh, spot healing brush tool. And if you right click on it, you'll see some other options. So we got magic replace right here. And I haven't used this yet, but I'm pretty sure I know how because I watched that video. So I'm just going to select around Miles and get it pretty close. Now, new content up here. You type in what you want, I believe. So what if I did carnage and hit replace? This might not. We'll see. Oh, I have to select the layer first. What does that even mean? Oh, click your background layer first. All right. And click replace. This is a learning experience for both of us, but I think I know how to do it. Oh, that is not carnage, bro. Who is that? That's the Goonies, dude. All right, let's try something else. Let's just do, uh, I don't know, Jack Black. Can't go wrong with Jack Black. I'm kind of scared now after that last one. All right, there it is. That's Jack Black. So, yeah, he morphed into a, like a lightsaber, but um, that's totally him. I don't think I'm doing this right. I'm going to be honest. Okay, so give me a second. Now, what if I tried this? What if I gave my boy Spidey a top hat? Where did that? Oh, there it is. Or what if I gave him like a, or nah, I'll do it to Miles. There's more headspace. Let's add a hat on his head. Hat. Let's see. Oh, hold on. I'm totally not watching a tutorial right now. All right. You know what? I figured it out. So I'm doing pancakes now. I know it's not as cool as Spider-Man, but we're going to replace the butter with an olive. This is horrendous. It's not going to work. There's no way. I don't know what that is, dude. I'm going to make this uh, an eyeball. Oh my. I'm going to make this. I don't know. That, ew. If I like, can I like add stuff to it? Can I like make this a steak or something? Holy crap. That actually looks pretty good, though. Like, I mean, like this doesn't look good, but like that looks like it's supposed to be there. Now, the eyeball doesn't, but this is crazy. I know Photoshop did the same thing, but Photo P is just better, like way better. Of course, they did it. And they have a team of 3000 billion people, right? Of course, they're going to be able to do that. Now, my boy at Photo P, he makes stuff happen. Let's try. You know what? I'm sorry, guys. It had to be done. Oh my God, that's amazing. This is the coolest thing ever. I'm going to be honest. I know I haven't really helped you guys out because I didn't even know what I was doing to begin with, but this is kind of a learning experience for us. And now I created pancakes with a party hat with steak with a side of eyeball. And I mean, you can't go wrong with that. Like, honestly, that's a proper meal right there. So honestly, I think that's the end of the video. I can't really do much more. So that's all I got for you guys today. Hope you enjoyed it. It's more of an entertaining video than a uh, tutorial because I didn't even know what I was doing, to be honest. But now we do. And now we can create some really fun stuff. I might make another video using this tool. If you guys want to see that, let me know. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.